Welcome to Capital Connections, where the complex world of finance becomes approachable, practical, and ready for your entrepreneurial journey. Hosted by Lorette Ferris, the Capital Coach. A seasoned financial services thought leader who has journeyed through investment banking, mergers and acquisitions, business brokerage, and crowdfunding. This podcast is our way to give back. It's our gateway to help demystify your business growth pillars. Each episode is part of our three-tiered multifaceted business lifecycle journey, training series, growth by acquisition, getting investor ready, and exit on your terms. It all starts with our Capital Navigators blog, where each episode is converted here in Capital Connections for those who choose to listen instead of read. Now, we don't stop there. We dive deeper into each topic through self-paced coaching programs, masterclasses, and mastermind groups, transforming this information into action steps for those seeking more. Speaking directly to solopreneurs, micro to small businesses, transitioning corporate executives, and technicians. Our approach? Simple yet profound. We break down high-level financial concepts into everyday language, making them accessible and actionable. Whether you want to acquire a business, raise capital, or sell your company, plug into our Business Lifecycle Journey series. So, tune in, turn up the volume, and get ready to connect the dots in your financial journey. Let's begin. All right, time for another exciting episode, Timing the Market, Knowing When to Make Your Move, Assessing the Right Time to Sell Your Business. In the dynamic world of business sales, identifying the right moment to transition ownership requires strategic insight that goes beyond random chance. It demands understanding your personal goals, evaluating your company's trajectory, and interpreting economic signals clearly. As an advisor guiding countless leaders through ownership changes, I recognize that timing is not about fortune, but strategy and perceptive planning. Shifting market appetites offer invaluable cues, yet these are not whimsical indicators. They reflect methodical movements, an uptick in industry, changing consumer behaviors, or macro-level events rippling the economy. My role is to decipher these patterns for you. Take, for instance, a recent exit by a pioneer in cloud data security. They sold at the crest of market demand by capitalizing on surging cyber threats capturing executive attention. Or, Consider a beloved local bakery chain that aptly sensed the rise in artisanal eateries. They preempted waning interest and drew buyer enthusiasm by reinventing around a farm-to-table concept before entering sale discussions. In both cases, the convergence of personal readiness, business maturity, and market momentum guided impeccable timing. Such deliberate synchronization epitomizes the most lucrative ownership transitions, rewarding entrepreneurs with robust deal valuations and the satisfaction of well-chartered exits. From crystallizing personal ambitions to navigating handling economic cycles, our work together can strategically determine the optimum time for you to pass the baton. Understanding Market Dynamics Understanding how markets ebb and flow is vital for any business owner thinking about an eventual exit. Markets are living forces shifting with investor moods, industry changes, and consumer tastes. When confidence is high and money flows freely, you can sell at top value and draw eager buyers. For those envisioning an exit in the next five years, keeping a short watch on market dynamics isn't just smart, it's essential. Spotting trends early and adapting your exit plans gives you an edge between an okay outcome and an ideal one. The ability to adjust your approach positions you to ride the upside of market highs. On the flip side, 
owners on a tight timeline must stay agile. Rapid shifts call for readiness to make your move at the right moments. When a surge of opportunity comes, you must catch that wave quickly to capitalize on optimum value, even without abundant lead time. In short, turning into the pulse of the marketplace helps any leader aiming for a firm exit. Whether your horizon is near or distant, insight into market forces allows you to play to positive momentum, which lets you orchestrate an exit tailored to the times at hand and exit with a flourish on your terms. The Markets Symphony. The business deals, timing is everything. The pivot point between an average outcome and a phenomenal success. Each sector dances to its own beat, shaped by economic forces, competitor moves, and buyer appetite. You listen closely to this melody as an owner attuning your exit to hit the high notes. For those strategic entrepreneurs thinking years ahead, you're the conductor orchestrating each movement toward your culminating exit. Like a maestro, you fine-tune performance to crest on the swell of market peaks while gracefully gliding through slower periods. You envision your crescendo, your company valuations amplifying amidst peak demand to land optimal deals. For owners on a compressed timeline, think of a nimble soloist. It would help if you leaped into the fray precisely on cue, your tactics snapping into alignment with present conditions. Ever ready to act, you await each market uptick, moving decisively when opportunities arise to lock in prime value. Whether you're directing long-term strategy or rapidly adapting to current dynamics, reading your industry tempo is essential. Just as flawless timing captivates audiences across a concert hall, exits exits synchronize to the pulse of markets entice buyers commanding top dollar. So pick up your baton as a visionary conductor to already your instrument as an agile player. Setting your move to market beats makes all the difference between average outcomes and phenomenal successes. Interpreting financial indicators. A company's finances form the bedrock of its market value, whispering stories of stability and prospects to potential buyers profit margins, cash flows, EBITDA. These signal present health and future promise. When the numbers are aligned, they become a siren song attracting ideal suitors. For strategic entrepreneurs building long-term exit plans, financials are threads that can weave over time, fine-tuning operations to display escalating growth and painting a picture of a thriving business poised to continue ascending under new ownership. Continuity of robust financial performance tells a compelling narrative that resonates with investors seeking prosperity and upside. However, when compressed timelines unexpectedly move up exit horizons, the task becomes distilling your financial essence. How can you spotlight strengths while shoring areas of wear? Maybe rapidly implementing initiatives to boost profits, streamline for improved cash flow, or creatively repositioning to shine. Each adaptation helps retouch the portrait of health and potential for would-be buyers. Ultimately, energetic financials guide a company's journey in the marketplace, whether on a multi-year odyssey or an abbreviated sprint. The focus is on 
nurturing numbers that underscore growth, stability, and promise. Because fostering economic vitality not only sustains the enterprise, but makes it even more viable for transition when the time comes. The better the financial narrative, the stronger the pull on discerning buyers. Financial High Notes and Low Notes A business's financial signals can either captivate or repel potential buyers. For strategic entrepreneurs, exiting is not just a plan B, but part of a long-term choreography, setting up a pirouette through inevitable ups and downs. This buffers enterprise value when markets fluctuate, so fiscal health health doesn't skip a beat. Consider a digital marketing firm whose consistent client revenue growth hit resonant notes for years and alluring melody enticing buyers. Their exit strategy accounted for dips, safeguarding valuation despite economic turns. Owners on a tighter timeline must orchestrate fiscal affairs with precision. They amplify profitable areas where quieting less successful ones, vigilantly managing cash flow, optimizing margins, and strategically handling EBITDA. Take a family restaurant facing urban competition and redevelopment's crescendo. With compressed room for improvisation, they must swiftly recompose financials to retain buyer appeal. Maybe streamlining operations or innovating their menu for operational integrity that still hums. Whether devising a gradual exit strategy or a progressive, faster sale, the objective is to create a robust financial story that is both robust, that is both robust and captivating, keeping fiscal harmony aligned with the value sweet spot makes your business impossible for buyers to ignore regardless of tempo. Gauging your business's life cycle. Gauging where your business sits in its life cycle is crucial to sculpting exits that captivate buyers. Strategic sellers with time build exits among growth crescendos. When potential hits peak, that highlight future promise. Five-year runway lets you craft a progressive arc illustrating ascending trajectories that entice buyers to grab trajectories headed up, up, up. Take an organic food farm, meticulously expanding market share and online sales over five years. By showcasing accelerating growth, prematurity, they spin compelling narratives that buyers ache to continue shepherding to new heights. With compressed timelines, the spotlight shifts. Has your enterprise crested or begun a gradual descent? Now you underscore stability and reliability, those qualities that promise continuity under new stewardship. Emphasize loyal customers, dedicated staff, and sturdy infrastructure. Say a small town hardware store with deep community ties, but little runway. Buyers frame the business by by stressing trusted relationships and steady revenues as a turnkey pillar that can uphold rather than reinvent, selling the ready-to-go appeal. Whether riding high growth or highlighting dependability, both life cycle strategies can excel when grounded in self-awareness. The key results in playing to the strengths of your chapter, then exiting becomes not just timed by masterfully orchestrated for advantage. 
This positioning puts wind behind your sails, smoothing passengers to sails that meet your vision. Growth stage, a crescendo of opportunity. When entrepreneurs hit high growth phases, it's like an orchestra reaching a powerful crescendo. Potential swells and promise seems tangible. This apex crystallizes years of groundwork for strategic sellers into successful narratives ripe for acquisition. Like tech founders, who architect exits into business DNAs when innovative apps enjoy adoption surges. Markets have penetrated and concepts are proven. Its catnip is to acquirers seeking rising stars with momentum. Those with a five-year outlook strive to foster sustainable expansion that transcends the transient. They parse customer insights and market signals, staring with steady hands toward tomorrow's robust, to make tomorrow as robust as today. The value being built must wow future buyers also. With compressed runways, showing meaningful expansion already unlocked becomes vital. Articulate how you've laid pipelines for growth under new ownership. Maybe via loyalty programs, strategic partners, or creative marketing, lifting trajectories over time. In essence, growth strategies fuse opportunity and foresight. Whether you've been laying tracks for years, are mid-journey, or are accelerating near-term exits, the focus is showing the growth achieved and locking its trajectory to captivate ideal buyers, which captures your endeavor's full value in a transition you orchestrate on your cadence. Declining stage, the challenge of gradual reduction. Guiding downturns is akin to conducting orchestras through gradual volume reductions. The melody must remain captivating even as the sound softens. This apparent conclusion can uncover intervals for revitalization. Strategic long-term planners see beyond temporary trails with ingenuity and action. Downturns can crescendo into new rises. Take a once thriving retailer facing shrinking margins amid e-commerce disruption. With runway, they meet this dimming, they meet this dimming not with surrender, but with strategic pivots, maybe experiential storefronts or Bolder online plays reflecting new consumer paths. With compressed runways, agility and resolve become paramount. Swift moves to stabilize through streamlining products or boosting online presence work to position the business as a diamond in the rough, prime for transformation under fresh stewardship. In both cases, the essence is redefining narratives from decline to possibility. Not masking dimming metrics, but spotlighting enduring promise, loyal customers, respected branding, and untapped markets. It's about creating narratives that envision the future beyond current volume reductions to the crescendos of revitalized businesses under new leadership. Whether navigating long arcs or urgent change, recognizing and communicating the intrinsic value that remains amidst decline can set the stage for strategic exits. Meet the moment with courage and possibility, orchestrating second acts for enterprises weathering interlude storms. Weighing personal goals. Your readiness to exit plays a pivotal note when composing a strategy. 
For those who plan for long term, selling is the culmination of well orchestrated masterpieces, personal aspirations interwoven with business rhythms to create seamless crescendos. Take an entrepreneur who built a design firm from scratch, always envisioning an eventual sale to enable philanthropic and sabbatical dreams. Having aligned growth with personal goals for years means that when markets peak, they can sell a business and a chapter of their life's work. With condensed timelines, personal aims must adapt to current melodies, striking chords between ideals and achievable. Say a family firm owner needing sudden relocation accelerates their sale blending imperatives with opportunities to still finalize on fortuitous notes. Whether crafting decades-long compositions or improving to unexpected inflections, the duet between personal vision and market realities is crucial. Both warrant consideration to culminate sales, feeling financially and emotionally triumphant rewarding finales to pivotal life movements. The fruits of one's efforts ought to empower the next beginnings one has in mind when passing the baton. Macroeconomic Considerations Macroeconomic tides can profoundly sway exits for better or worse. Strategic long-term planners often align end games with prosperity, observing GDP, inflation, interest rates, and more for the most lucrative crest to list their enterprises. Like seasoned manufacturers monitoring domestic production policies, they can ride a wave of success with latitude, selling when their sector enjoys tailwinds, valuations peak, and capital flows. But with compressed runways, say five years, nimbleness and quick reactions are compulsory. Keep a sharp watch on economic forecasts, ready to pivot strategies among interest rate hikes, consumption shifts, and more. Take a software firm owner who accelerates their timeline to preempt forthcoming credit tightening. They proactively seize windows before closing by capitalizing on high capital availability first. Whether long or short composing, an attuned economic eye is key. It allows for riding waves. At the same time, waters are warm and sheltering from storms until climates improve. Staying informed and agile helps navigate toward the most favorable end games and the personal outcomes these enterprises were built to enable. The Buyer's Calendar In deals, aligning with buyer rhythms can catalyze timely, lucrative outcomes. Timing is everything. Rings so true. Long-term strategists embed buyer calendars into their exit plans. Analytically observe when engagements surge, then stage sales amid those cresting waves. Like that holiday decor seller, preparing before seasonal peaks when demand balloons. Tapping heightened interest from acquirers looking to capitalize on imminent festive rushes. With five-year horizons, awareness of industry M&A cycles proves invaluable. It allows steering exits toward acquisition enthusiasm with high tides. Meanwhile, Tight timeline entrepreneurs must read market pulses, ready to make moves when humming buyer interest crescendos into action, like tech startups riding remote work solution tailwinds. Every scenario benefits from grasping when buyers are hungry for deals. It enables 
perfectly positioning enterprises on stage just as curtains rise and the spotlight hits, aligning with audience tempo to, to capture attention and maximize success possibilities. The difference between performing in empty theaters or packed houses is intuitively sensing the ideal rhythm. Real-world success stories, tales of innovators and pioneers navigating distinct routes to success abound in our dynamic commercial era. Take that AI startup that strategically embedded exit plans into its model, only to ride an unexpected wave of market fervor for its platform. This serendipitous demand spike enabled a lucrative, well-timed acquisition to carry its solutions forward. Contrast, contrast that with a boutique retail chain buffeted among industry saturation, yet glimpsing opportunity in adversity. A potential buyer offered e-commerce life, lifeliness to reinvigorate relevance, which mandated bold rebranding and an unflinching commitment to harnessing digital currents. But it buoyed new growth avenues when old models faltered. The startup's saga showcases the foresight to align with emergent forces and the power timing carries in volatile sectors like tech. Their harmony with market Appetites enable securing continuity for their innovative vision. Conversely, the retailer's odyssey highlights the need for agility when winds shift, a willingness to reinvent that can unlock new life. By embracing digital transi transitions, they re-energize their brand and discover new, challenge, new channels to engage customers. Both chronicles affirm the varied paths enterprises take towards sustained vibrancy. Whether the startup's well-orchestrated exit amid high demand or the retailer's responsive transformation to changing behaviors, the keys persist strategic foresight, adaptability, and courage to remain essential compasses in navigating any landscape. The maestro's decision. Directing seamless exits recalls a maestro's deft hands, blending mastery of, of scores, musicians, and moods for flawless finales. Likewise, Synchronizing market know-how, business readiness, and personal goals creates commanding closure. Consider the maestro's cue through a market lens, consumer trends, economic tides, and industry currents. Attuning to these patterns at times when your offerings align with peak appetite. Identify the crescendo where Business value swells, ensuring you strike precisely as audiences lean forward. Your enterprise's performance additionally paces exit tempo. Evaluating financials, market fit, and operations tells you when to make strategic moves, like tech firms capitalizing on using surges to exit at opportune high notes. Personal dreams, retiring to Tuscan vineyards, launching fresh startups, or cementing legacies must harmonize too. These shape if, when, and how your bow will be taken for resonant closure. In essence, directing commanding exits melds multifaceted arts, balancing receptive markets enterprises in stride, and goals realized. Conduct this sympathy with savvy and heart to reap financial rewards and celebrate your odyssey's magnificent, magnificent opus. Thank you for hearing.
hearing this episode of Capital Connections. I look forward to speaking with you next week on our next episode. Have a great week and prosperous time. And that wraps up another enriching episode of Capital Connections. Thank you for joining us this week to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of business and finance. Your journey toward growth and success is our top priority. You can stay connected to our offerings by checking us out at ibossinc.net, subscribing to our Capital Navigators blog, following our company page on LinkedIn, registering for a masterclass, or joining a mastermind group. At Capital Connections, our mission goes beyond simply sharing knowledge. It's about crafting transformative experiences. So, until our next encounter, stay on the path of connecting the dots in your financial journey, and let's continue in our joint journey of growth, innovation, and leadership. Thank you again for tuning in, and see you in the next episode of Capital Connections.